I first became involved with RPAP when I was the government of Alberta's representative on the RPAP board. That was between 2010 and 2014. And I loved the organization. Then in 2016, when they posted the position for executive director, I applied and uh, was successful in winning the competition. I've been here ever since. So what attracted me to come and work for RPAP was the notion of being closer connected to communities, the fact that it was a more rurally oriented program and service. Truly, I have rural in my heart. I was born and raised in the Valley of Nova Scotia. Spent my summers with my grandmother, Euphemia Cameron, in a town with a population of maybe 12. I think we were the whole town. Well, it was probably 20. I think what I learned from Euphemia, her grandmother, as we called her, was probably more important than anything I ever spent in my 10 years in university studying. And those, those rural roots was what attracted me. Every single event we have that's community-based has been a blast. The whole town comes out, all the participants come out that are part of our program, the docs, nurses, you name it. You know, every Rhapsody Award, every Physician Award, every Community Award, every event like that has just a great deal of fun to it and a great deal of kindness and caring and recognition that what we're doing is of value. I'm well known to be, don't groan, a Harley Davidson rider. In the summertime, if I'm going out to a community, I'll take my Harley. And there's this one town I pulled up to a meeting with the town council and the local physicians in my Harley. And the local constabulary, as I was getting off my bike, came over to me and said, you shouldn't be here. The council's meeting soon. <laughs> I said, I think they're meeting with me. And he goes, move along, son. <laughs> I thought, I thought.